Now, news coming in from the Delhi High Court, uh, which has dismissed the bail plea of jailed former Aam Aadmi Party Minister Satyendra Jain. Uh, this is in the money laundering case being probed by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, let's go across to Ankit now for more. And Ankit, so a setback for Satyendra Jain after uh, his bail was denied by a lower court. Uh, the Aam Aadmi Party were, had hopes uh, that perhaps at the higher court, uh, but uh, now that bail denied. You know, it's been a series of setbacks as far as the former Delhi minister is concerned, the health minister, former Delhi health minister in Satin Jain, who has been languishing in the prison for almost now 10 months. I mean, uh, in two, uh, in a month and a half, he'll uh, complete uh, one year in prison. Now, the Ahmadni party was hoping that the high court, which had... Uh, reserved this order about a month back and said that they will uh, come up with this order in the month of April. They will give them some relief. No relief has been given to Satin Rijan. Now, the only option as far as the minister, former minister is concerned, he will have to approach the Supreme Court. Uh, the Supreme Court will first have to list this uh, case, then the hearing will be on, and then uh, whether he would be able to secure bail or not. Well, you know, also next month is going to be uh, vacations as far as the courts are concerned. So time is running out as far as the minister is concerned. Remember, he was uh, also embroiled in a lot of controversy during his uh, prison stay in the uh, Tihar jail. Uh, he was there was those videos came out which the, which were released and uh, became a talking point, a, a political flashpoint between the BJP and the Ahmadni Party, where he was allegedly being seen enjoying uh, favors uh, as far as uh, the prison, uh, uh, you know, apart from the prison manual, are concerned. Where uh, the Ahmadni Party defended him, saying that he was uh, being given all those facilities of uh, uh, massage uh, and, uh, you know, uh, as per a physiotherapist, which was recommended by the court itself, though the BJP said that these are extra favors being given out to the minister. Now, embroiled in all those controversies, he held on to his post of the minister for nine months. It was only after when Manish Sisodia was uh, arrested that both of uh, them, Manish Sisodia and Satyendra resigned from the Advent Kejriwal cabinet. So, bad news again for Satyendra and for the Aam Aadmi Party, this is going to bolster the attack of the Bharatiya Janata Party that there is no merit and their prima facie it seems that there are evidence against the a former minister that he's not been able to secure so, bail. Jain did argue in the court that, you know, uh, whatever the case, that no case has been made out and also that there's no reason for his continued, you know, stay in the jail. However, that obviously something the High Court uh, did, did not agree with and he remains in jail and a huge setback for AAP given that two of its, you know, biggest faces, one can't imagine Imagine that, uh, you know, uh, the former Deputy uh, Chief Minister of Delhi, Manisha Shodhya, and uh, former Health Minister Satyendra Jain are both in jail currently. And this comes at the back of a setback for the opposition that had approached the Supreme Court uh, when, uh, you know, the opposition uh, parties came together, 14 of them, alleging the misuse of central agencies. However, that was dismissed yesterday uh, by the Supreme Court. You know, if you put all these things in context politically, it would look like that at this moment, uh, the BJP and the government is on a stronger foot. For the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, which came on the anti-corruption plank, this was one of the biggest calling card for Arvind Kejriwal, that his, he gives clean government. Now, with both these ministers in prison, not being able to secure bail, now the BJP would be more aggressive and will also use what happened in the Supreme Court yesterday of some sort of an admission that they want special favor as the Prime Minister says, brushed ikhatte or all corrupt are coming together. This is going to be very, very important talking point ahead of 2024 elections and, uh, uh, you know, uh, somewhere a setback as far as the Aam Aadmi Party's entire optics and narrative is concerned. All right, Anke, thanks so much for joining us uh, with those latest developments.